M0FXB Hamtech, the Zygu X6200 brochure has been released. Also, the price is announced at €920 Euros and should be released around June. I've made a video on this already, but I thought I would include the, the brochure here in this. So follow the link and have a good read. See if you can spot anything new. The main thing that I'm spotting is air band and broadcast band. It's an 8 watt radio, has a new case design, very similar screen. The nice thing is that the waterfall will fill the whole screen and that they're not using the, the sort of audio oscilloscope to take up a third of the screen, which I always thought of the waterfall, which I always thought was a mistake. So just, you know, just a quick one here. The battery is removable. I think that's the only new thing. Oh, there's a modular, a module connector on top. Uh, so highly scalable system. So, you know, the kind of chip they're going to use, I haven't got a clue. I need to read this manual myself. I thought I'd just quickly get it out there. The screen looks the same to me. It's got the usual USB-C connectors on the side. But I do, I, I do like the design. I think they have they have improved the design of it. The nice handles looks quality, but the price comes with that. It's got a built-in microphone and PTT automatic tuner. The usual CW decode. I mean that that was pretty good anyway. I know that some people look at this radio as a very buggy radio, but to, from from my experiences, yes, it does have bugs, and sometimes booting it up and turning it on and off can be a bit of a pain. But generally, when you're actually using it in the field to have HF and CW contacts and have a built-in tuner, I think it works great. But the battery is not going to last long, is it? When you're using HF and a big screen like this, you'll be lucky, I think, if you get two to three hours battery life. So having a removable modular battery is a plus. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, more videos to follow.